What is up you guys? It is currently the Tuesday after Labor Day weekend and we have so much stuff to ship out today. It is absolutely nuts. This is our current pile of outgoing items. This is everything we've sold over the last four days on eBay, whatnot, and our website. But we still have about 50 to 60 more items to get packed up and added to this pile before we go to the post office. Kim just got here, so we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed up and shipped out today, but we're gonna jump into some thrifting footage that Haley and I filmed yesterday. I don't wanna bore you guys in this video with nothing but shipping. So let's jump into that and we'll come back later on we have heard a rumor that this salvation army is 50 percent off today we so don't know if it's true we don't see any signs but they open in two minutes so we're about to find out 25 percent off okay yeah. so not half off but still still a sale six bucks Allegria. five bucks is here five bucks got some 511 tactical boots would be in great shape 14.99 again 25 percent off so probably go ahead and grab this color bean made in usa we don't usually buy pants but i just found this brand flint and tinder and i looked it up because it just feels like high quality pants there's 69 listed for sale and in the last 90 days there's been 110 sold all in used condition you can see pre-owned 58.95 free shipping 38 plus shipping 44 plus shipping these are all pre-owned so this is a great brand of pants uh and again we don't usually buy pants but for 40 to 60 dollars uh, we will take a chance on those and these should be just a set price of three dollars and 99 cents so i don't know too much about robert graham but this is a pretty cool like print and there's skulls on the sleeves so i'm gonna pick that up for 20 percent off of nine dollars found these carhartt pants relax fit 36 by 32 how much are these gonna be let's see pants are four dollars so they're gonna be three dollars so i'm gonna pick those up just found this cool like wrangler pearl snap shirt Josh, how much do Wrangler Pro Snap shirts usually go for? <sighs> probably this like, one's like kind of a cool pattern. Probably like sixteen to eighteen dollars plus shipping, something like that. So should I get it? Uh, was it three ninety nine? Yeah. Sure. I just found this really cool polo Ralph Lauren shirt made in USA, like Christmas colors. Ooh, this... twenty five percent off. Oh, oh nice. no, it's Senior Day. Senior Day. Are we seniors? No. You guys may recognize this Goodwill from our YouTube channel. We came here when they did the grand opening, filmed our first Goodwill grand opening video. Found a ton of stuff that day, but then we actually came back the next week to see if it was good, still good, uh, and it was not. It was very, very, very bad. Uh, and that was the last time we've been here. That was five months ago or so. So we're gonna see if we can get in here today and see if there's anything good. It's a pair of these Brooks we picked up a couple of times. The bottoms look pretty good, and bumpers just need some cleaning. They're playing Jonas Brothers on the radio. Yeah, it's very loud in here. <laughs> I walk back here to the electronics section, and there's a couple cameras on the shelf right here. Kanika? Kanika? Uh, there's the smaller one and then this bigger one in the case back here. I haven't looked at them yet, but this case did say made in Japan, and it's only $4.99. So this might be worth looking up. So this big one is the Kanika Auto S2. They're currently 49 listed for sale. I mean, 70 bucks in working condition, but only 13.99 in parts only condition. So let's filter sold to see how many of these actually sell. 54, so that's not bad. 17 parts only, 40 pre-owned, 22 pre-owned, pre-owned 74. So I don't know, it might be worth taking a chance on. I have no idea how to test something like this. It looks to be in good shape, so for less than five dollars, I think it's worth the risk. I just found a mandolin for six eighty nine. Look what I found. A mandolin? Yeah, he just put it out for six eighty nine. Really? I don't know if it's worth it. For six dollars and eighty nine cents, I'm sure it's worth it. Yeah. The one I bought like you for Christmas, our first Christmas was like 60 bucks and that was the cheapest one they had on Amazon. I just looked up the Rogue brand and I don't know exactly like the serial number or anything, but that one just sold for $53 plus shipping. Definitely a pickup. Looking up here, I just found a couple hats. We got the San Francisco 49ers, um, $59.50. We got this Adidas, really clean. Like it's a fitted hat, which I wish it was a snapback, but that's still good. Got this, I think it's Ruka, some brand in California. Looks in pretty good shape. A little North Face snapback. 
and a Nike um, little strap back as well. All these hats are only 50 cents each, so this is sold really well. Just came back to the shoe section and I found this pair of fit flops. If you're not familiar with this brand, it does pretty well and it sells pretty fast. So we'll pick this up. So I think Haley has rounded up here. I've got a few more last minute things. I think this is Anchor Hawking, a little orange coffee mug, 89 cents. That's pretty cool. What's this. up? I, I wish you looked familiar. Oh, what's up, man? I just you're, you're not face. here normally. No, you're, I'm just helping out. Helping out? That's awesome. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Good, yeah, man. You got some good stuff today. We got a Titleist hat. This is from Bulls Bay. I don't know if you guys know, if you're an OG Harry Tornado follower, uh, we found like a, a like a, a license plate from Bulls Bay, mm -hmm. and it turns out to be a golf course that's in like Charleston, South Carolina, and like the membership fee is like $20,000 a year. So this hat was probably sold at that golf course for probably like $50. So it's gonna be 50 cents here, it's in great condition. We'll probably get like 20 bucks for it. I think we sold that license plate for like $45 yeah, or something, something, like, something that. like that, it was a while ago. So that's pretty cool, 50 cents. Got another little Masters green visor here, American Needle, easy, 15 bucks or so. And I found this really cool Star Wars hoodie. It's like Ooh. Star Wars right there. It's on the uh, Our Universe tag. Rule I mean, the Galaxy. It could be like Target or something, but still really could cool. Be. Could be. This would be five dollars and seventy-five cents. So not too bad. We should probably come to this Goodwill more often. And shout out that guy. He's like the manager of another Goodwill down the road. Yeah, San Andrew, the, uh, yeah, San Andrew's, Andrew's Goodwill. One. Super cool. I think people are like always like dumbfounded when they see like Goodwill employees in the background of our videos and they don't care that we film. I think our Goodwills here are like. They have common sense and they see like all the publicity that we give them for free on our YouTube channel and they love it. We're not saying anything bad about them. We found all this good stuff today. Right. Do you think we have enough profit to maybe like go to breakfast? Breakfast or lunch? What time is it? <laughs> it's 1033. Brunch? Brunch. Right. We were walking up to the cash register and I saw this uh, action figure up here. Stephen Davis for the Washington Redskins. Obviously it's pretty old since it still says Redskins. It's only $2.89. Yeah, they only went through the I think we'll get that. I don't know who Steven Davis is, but kind of cool. This is from 2002. Davis. This is vintage. Yeah. I know the Steven Davis that played for the Panthers, but not the one that played for the Redskins. Maybe it's the same one. Maybe, Maybe they traded him. Once again, we were literally almost about to check out, and there's a whole bin of plush over here that we didn't see. What is How to Train Your Dragon? It's expensive. $10. Nice SpongeBob. Why are his arms so high? I'm going to get him. How's that? Nella, it's only 50 cents. At our Goodwills, if plush aren't marked with a specific price, like that, the big How to Train Your Dragon, they're only 50 cents each. Did you know that Build-A-Bear made small fries? I did not know that. Build-A-Bear small fry. Yeah. Learn something new every day. I hey. hope that these people that you guys friends are still friends, because it's only the one half. It's only one half. Where's <laughs> the other one? <laughs> Somebody had a, a Somebody fight, had the and they're like, I'm donating our donating pillow to it. Goodwill. I always look for like Pokemon or like well-known characters, like these random just animals uh, don't really sell super well, but Pokemon plush sell really, really well. What's up, bro? I found an example of something that you probably shouldn't get based on seller recovery. Shouldn't get, okay. I saw a sold comp for this for $12 plus shipping and at 50 cents, that would be good profit margin. But there's 44 listed and only three sold in July. So wow. we're gonna pass. Did you guys know that Haley actually used to play mandolin? I don't know if I said that in the video. I know a few chords, but few I chords. was never good. It's a very interesting instrument. It's this... very similar to the violin. It's got the same tuning, and I played that in high school. Yeah. Middle school. Basically the same thing. So we just finished packing up everything. We started loading it in Kim's van right here. This is just the beginning. We got all this stuff over here. Uh, I need to go through and see exactly how many orders it was. I mean, we've got all these bags right here, this whole stack, big stack back there. I mean, it just, it keeps going forever and ever. I know we had probably like 80 items just on whatnot over the last couple days. Uh, eBay, I think we ended up having 40. Uh, and then from our website, I think we had like 40 to 50. So it was like a lot, probably over 150 items. Uh, great, great weekend. So we finally have everything loaded in the van. And it's, I, I was, I, we were concerned that it might take two trips, uh, but I think we've maxed out all the available space. Uh, in in the van we got some stuff in the front seat over there this is officially the biggest <laughs> load of packages we've ever had yes hands down <laughs> i really want to do the math and talk about like how much in actual sales it was and profit uh so i'll do that in a second but just this is just so cool and it's not even christmas it's not even q4 yet hello everyone it is the next day we got super busy yesterday and i was not able to finish this video so so sorry for the change in attire but i want to tell you guys <sighs> 
I also have the hiccup, so sorry. But I wanna share with you guys a financial breakdown of all of our weekend sales so you can see pretty close, so you can get a pretty solid idea of how much money we actually get to keep from all these packages going out, which ended up being just over, which ended up being 160 packages going out that we sold on all three platforms from Thursday to Tuesday. So Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. So five days of sales, 160 packages total. Starting with eBay, we had a total of $2,177.30 in gross sales. So we do have to take, oh, this is so annoying. Start, <laughs> why is this so funny? <laughs> We have to take out $272.12 for eBay fees, $360.50 for shipping, and $490 for our cost of goods sold, which leaves us with a net profit of the last five days of $1,054.68. Moving on over to Whatnot, we did three individual auctions, and between those three auctions, we sold a total of 99, 99 individual items for a gross total after whatnot fees of $1,895.29. We still have to take out our cost of our cost of goods for all those items, which is roughly $650. And that leaves us with a total net profit from whatnot sales of $1,245. And then moving on over to our website where we sold these new Support Your Friends hoodies, we had a total of 54 orders. So 54 hoodies going out and that brought in a gross revenue of $2,728. $2, roughly $650 $50 of that went to shipping costs and another $1,550 went to our cost of goods sold. I had these sheets right over here of what we paid for the hoodies. The small, medium, large, and extra large cost us $23.89. The 2XLs cost us $29.07 and anything over 2XL was $31.83. We were selling everything for like between $38 up to like $42. We started, I think, with 68 hoodies altogether, maybe? I'm pretty sure we started with 68 hoodies and we've already sold 54 in less than a week from our original merch drop announcement. So you guys really came through and supported us on this. We really appreciate it. We don't charge a ton for these hoodies. We make a little bit of profit after shipping and cost of goods. We're gonna make $528 in net profit from our website merch sales. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for everybody that supported us in that endeavor. So to recap, we have $1,054.68 in net profit from eBay sales, $1,245 in net profit from Whatnot sales, and $528 in net profit from our website sales over the last five days. And that leaves us with a total net profit of Labor Day extended weekend of $2,827.68. And I like doing these financial breakdowns to give you guys a better idea because our total gross revenue for this weekend was actually $6,800.59. So after you count all the fees and cost of goods and all the expenses that goes into it, the 2,827.68 is a much more realistic number. When we do our whatnot auctions, we often like to use this little prize wheel spin thing. So I'm gonna spin it as we round out today's video. And if it lands on any of these winner spots, I'm gonna give away $100 to somebody who comments on today's Video. So let's give it a spin and see if we can get a winner, folks. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, definitely take a second to hit that like button for us down below. And if you wanna see another video that you might like, click it right over here. Do we get a winner? We got a freaking winner, folks. Comment on the video down below. I'm gonna pick a random person to give a hundred bucks to. See you guys on the next one.